All right, guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. And um, there is some, you know, some pretty bad news I have to tell you guys before we actually hop in uh, today's video. But um, again, I actually recorded two videos, you know, wasting my stones on the banners. Um, as you can see, before I had like 700 something, but now I only have like uh, 20. Uh, eight stones um, so I recorded the videos of me summoning and um, of course I'm just gonna tell you guys right this right now I didn't pull any of the LRs again which was pretty much expected because you know with only 800 something stones you know I I don't really see myself getting any of them but um, as you can see here on on the screen I did manage to get uh, cooler but um, I wasn't able to get any of the LRs unfortunately and uh, so I had the videos recorded and all that, but again, with issues with the uh, you know setup that I'm using, my computer or laptop that I'm using uh, deleted them. So it's all gone. It's all destroyed. And um, I actually was like spending the entire day just trying to recover it, but I wasn't able to do it. Uh, the files were corrupted, and you know it's all gone now. So it, it sucks because. I, it's, it, I mean, it's hard to see all your work just kind of like go down the drain, so, anyways, that's, that's why, you know, there haven't been any summoning videos, and, you know, as me being free to play, I don't spend money on this game, so, yeah, so, unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to upload any summoning videos, which really sucked because, again, like, I, I really enjoy doing, you know, summoning videos, because, you know, that is easily one of the main features of the game, but, um, just to kind of, like, uh, take you guys through what exactly I acquired, so in terms of units that I acquired, if we go down here, starting off with, uh, this Super Saiyan Goku, is, of course, you know, when I did the 50 ticket summon, I got, you know, Omega Shenron, I got a ton of SSRs, you know, dupes and all that. Um, again, so from this uh, TN and forward is what I got from the actual banner. So, you know, starting off with the obvious, I did manage to get the banner unit TN. Um, so I'm going to be working on uh, building him up, getting him all the way to Okan Awaken, and then we can do like a little mini showcase for this unit. So again, I did manage to get TN. Um, I got two Dokkan Fest Bardocks, so again, I managed to get a dupe of him. Um, again, it's just, it just sucks that I wasn't able to, to like really show you guys how I got him, because again, you know, it's just it's just really frustrating. But I did manage to get Bardock. Um, he's actually a really great unit, really fantastic unit. I think he's absolutely amazing, and I think, you know, not many people really talk about this unit in general. So I did get Bardock. As you can see here, I have a ton of other SSRs. I got uh, this SDR Majin Vegeta that has his EZA, obviously cooler. Uh, uh, we got, you know, this Super Vegito, the OG Majin Buu Saga category leader. And, oh, I also managed to pull in Cell, which is also a really big thing. Even though I wasn't able to put, you know, like, pull one of the new LRs, I was able to get some really good units in the form of in Cell. And then that appears to be it, yeah. Um, obviously, you know, throughout the summings as well, I got lots of... Uh, you know, dupes for characters, especially you guys right here. Uh, I got another dupe for my Gohan, so he's at, you know, 90% now. So all I need is one more copy to fully uh, rainbow him. And yeah, so anyways, guys, that's, you know, basically what I got in my summons. I got two Dokkan Fest Bardocks, uh, Incel, Gohan, Cooler. Uh, I got the new TN, Super Vegito. So I did manage to get a good array of units, but, you know, obviously not the units that we were hoping to get, which was the LR, Vegito, and uh, Bootex. But anyways, guys, in today's video, what we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking on the new, uh, it is uh, Boss Rush stage. So, you know, let's just jump right into it, and I'll, uh, you know, let's just hop right in. Alrighty, guys, so we're here in the first stage of uh, Dokkan Boss Rush. And as you can see here, we have Bardock, he's at 90%, and we have uh, the Blue Fusions as well because um, we are going to be running the Transformation Boost team. So now that I have Cooler, you know, I'm finally going to be able to use a Transformation Boost team uh, and really see what the hype is all about because, again, uh, you know, with Cooler leading the team, you know, the Transformation Boost is constantly getting new characters added to it, like the new uh, LR Super Vegito as well as the Boo Tanks are both on Cooler's team, which, of course, you know, means that 
they're going to be absolutely ridiculous. And as you can see here, so far we're blasting through this pretty easily. Um, you know, not very hard. And I'm going to keep not both coolers on rotation. So, honestly, I want to see what Cooler can do. Again, I know he's like a super good unit. Uh, lots of people talk about him, but um, I've never personally been able to actually use him. So now that we're actually able to use him, I kind of want to see what exactly everyone, uh, you know, is super hyped, uh, you know, cooler about, you know, why people say that he's better than Beerus, because, you know, as you know, I do have Beerus, he's 55%, so I, I do have a good idea of what Beerus can do. So 1.7, again, this is just a 55% cooler, and already I am actually extremely impressed by him. 1.7, 55%, and he doesn't even have many of his good links active, because remember, he's linked up with Namek Goku, and they're not going to have a, a whole lot of links together. And then, let's see what this 90% friend can do. 2.49. So, that's 90%, uh, so that's not even a rainbowed cooler. But, I mean, he basically is at that point. But, again, that's really good. And then we got Bardock here, who, just after one super attack, is already at 127k defense. And, if you did not know, this Bardock actually stacks defense, and then when he transforms, he actually keeps the defense that he stacked in his base. So there he is at 1.5. So, really impressive uh, by Bardock here. Again, you know, he's able to raise defense, and then he's able to transform turn 4, which again is super, super good. And then Cooler's also able uh, to transform, but again, uh, he can immediately transform if you're facing a pure hybrid Saiyan. But, I think it is maybe on the 5th or 6th turn is when he's able to transform if you're just, you know, uh, you know, just using, or, well, not using, but when you're just facing, like, a regular enemy. That, that is not a pure or hybrid Saiyan. So, let's just quickly double check that. So, he can transform on the 6th turn, it is, if you're not facing a pure or hybrid Saiyan. So, again, I'm just going to keep cool on rotation. Uh, might as well keep him on rotation with Namek Goku. They share, uh, they share fierce battle. Uh, you know, it's it's not really good linkage, but it's more of me just not wanting to float Cooler off and, you know, really trying to see what Cooler can do, what damage he can output when he's not, you know, at his best. So there he is at 1.3. So a little bit lower than Bardock. Of course, he did have a, a well, an attack and defense boost from the friend Cooler who uh, was giving his support type of 2 key and 30% attack and defense because, as you know, Cooler in his uh, base form is a support type as well. Uh, he gives 2 key 30% attack and defense to uh, transformation boost category allies, and then when facing 2 or more enemies, he gives uh, 2 key and 50% attack and defense to terrifying conquerors, because again, Cooler leads both transformation boost and terrifying conquerors. And then here we go, we just have the blue fusions, you know, Vegito's here, uh, he's just gonna absolutely dominate. Again, we just finished the fight. You know, we're basically one-turning these uh, phases right now. And then we're finally going to be able to transform with Bardock here. He's at 178k defense, almost at 200k. So let's just pop his active skill. Again, I really, really like this Bardock. I don't think a lot of people really talk about him. But again, this Bardock is super, super good. And in my opinion, this is easily one of the best transformations in the game. As you can see, I think it just looks super, super cool. And then after he transforms, this Bardock gets 130% attack and defense. Um, he gets guaranteed crits and is effective against all types when uh, facing an extreme type, but he only gets the guaranteed crits when he's uh, fighting a uh, Wicked Bloodline uh, category enemy. So again, this Bardock wouldn't have taken any damage, and there he is at 2.2. So he is super effective against all types, I just want to... I'll uh, make sure you guys get that. So he's actually over a 3 million attack stat there because, again, he is super effective against all types. And then to top it all off, when he super attacks, he raises his defense for one turn. So aside from having basically, what, 180% uh, defense, uh, wait, not 180%, but 180k defense, he raises that by, I believe it is 30%. So he's easily going to be over 200k defense once he's, uh, you know, completely super attacked. So again, this this Bardock is absolutely ridiculous. Um, again, I believe he is so much more better than what people give him credit for. But again, that is just my opinion. And so we are going to get the final transformation here with uh, the Blue Fusions with Gogeta. And then we're going to be able to see what 
Ooh, so we're finally able to transform with Cooler. Let's go ahead and do that. Because again, it is turn six. Um, again, Cooler's transformation is also really good and really clean. I actually really haven't seen a cleaner transformation. The only transformations that I could say are probably cleaner than Cooler's is Bardock's. Because again, in my opinion, uh, this is easily one of the best transformations in the game. So Cooler here gets a massive buff. He gets 3 key, 180% attack and defense. He has a medium chance of doing another super attack. And then he's only guaranteed... Uh, you know, performing critical hits if there's a pure or hybrid Saiyan. And Zamasu is going to heal in the first slot, so let's just do this. I'm just going to do this just in case. And then we're going to be able to super with Cooler, uh, as well as with Gogeta. And then this should be the end of the first fight. So let's see what damage Cooler is able to do. 55%, he's at 1.6. He's not going to be, uh, you know, guaranteed critting. I kind of want to see what Cooler can do when he's not you know like at his super best so again decent damage again he does have type disadvantage and he is tanking really well and then uh good i mean gogeta here is just gonna mop it up because again gogeta is super effective against all types but uh never mind i am wrong he is not gonna be able to finish it and then we did get super which is unfortunate but again you know gogeta did super first so i don't think we should take too much that is a lot though 118 and then here this here is this Namek Goku at 1.8. Again, this Namek Goku is really good, but um, again, due to his restraint in terms of transforming, it really does hinder him in terms of, you know, I would say in the running for like best, uh, you know, TUR in the game. So, so far, Cooler has been very, very, uh, you know, appealing to me, but again, I just need a little bit more time with him because so far... Um, I still see Beerus as being better than Cooler. Uh, not in terms of teams, because when it comes to teams, Cooler's obviously going to be better. You know, Transformation Boost, easily one of the best categories in the game. But, I don't know, Beerus and Whis, you know, that rotation, it's it's just it's just nuts. And then, you know, Beerus has his active skill where he gets a buff to attack and defense. And then he gets defense when he gets hit. So, I don't know right now. So, I mean, so far, you know... Beerus is still looking to be number one for me. Okay, so... Huh, I thought we were able to transform immediately. Or is that on the third turn? Can we act to pure or hybrid stance category? So, okay, starting from the third turn. Yeah, this is only the second turn. Okay, so let's put my cooler up there. Let's see what type of damage he's able to do. Again, last time he was at 1.7 went on rotation with the friend cooler. Because as you know, cooler is a support type unit. So you're able to put up 1.49 so that is actually not bad um, obviously a little lower than I would like but you know still really decent damage anyways uh, so you know just kinda talking about things you know honestly I hope you know many of you out there who you know do watch my videos have gotten uh, the new units cuz personally you know it is it's, it's I mean it's been rough man you know, not being able to upload those two videos, and then, you know, ah, not getting the new units, which, of course, you know, I didn't really expect myself to get, but at the same time, it's like I really wanted to get him, because, you know, it's the new unit, new flashy unit, but, um, uh, honestly, I don't mind not getting them, because, you know, I can just buy them with red coins later on, you know, as long as they appear, like, in an anniversary banner or you know maybe another download celebration banner kind of like with uh, Gohan and Cell which by the way Gohan and Cell have been on quite a bit of banners because you know the last banners they were on were like the anniversary banners and then back again for the download celebration that's quite a lot of banners that they've been on actually now that I'm thinking about it but you know hopefully you know they come back soon maybe I could see them coming back in like November Hopefully, because again, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting a copy of that uh, Vegeta. Not that the Vegeta, but the Vegeta and the Boo Tanks. So, um, you know, kind of looking at how long it has taken us to go through this, I think I might cut just maybe around here. And then I'll cut back in, you know, when we're at probably at the last phase of the last fight. Just because, again, I don't want to have this video, you know, be dragged out too long. So, I'm just going to cut right here. And then I'll cut back in when we're, you know, at the end of the fight. Alright guys, so as you can see, 
we beat boss rush the reason why i decided to cut you know and do it all the way till we're actually you know like to the end is because again i don't like to stretch out my videos super duper long you know because again you know i don't like making people sit there and watch like a 20 30 minute video uh, and so again we beat boss rush it was relatively easy um again you can see my time if you just like go back you can see my time how long it took me to beat it but again it wasn't really that difficult again the transformation boost team is absolutely re uh, ridiculous here we're gonna get our 35 stones and so to kind of make it up to you guys um what i'm gonna be trying to do is i'm gonna be trying to grind out as many stones as i can um by the time that the banners like are gone so that you know maybe you know maybe a couple hours before they leave i'll make a video you know wasting the amount of stones that i'm able to collect by that time because again i feel really bad about not having you guys you know see the summoning videos you know because again summoning is a real big part of the game it's super fun and super exciting to see what you know you might get or what you might not get so again you know i'm gonna try to grind as many stones as i can so that you guys can you know have a summoning video um in there so again guys that's gonna do for today's video transformation boost against uh you know, the new boss rush stages absolutely destroyed it cooler was amazing again now i'm starting to see why everybody's so nuts about him but um i mean personally i kind of like him more mis more in his base form when he's you know support type uh unit but of course you know for those of you who love big damage big numbers uh transformed cooler is the way to go so anyways guys that's gonna do for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one